You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. Roller Martin Unfiltered. All right, here's the deal, folks. Here's the deal, folks. Here we go. Google and Apple announced that they will collaborate to enable coronavirus contact tracing on our devices. What that means is they'll use location data from your phone paired with COVID-19 status also stored on your phone to triangulate who may have possibly been exposed and infected. This is already happening in China and South Korea, and there's no federal privacy law in place for this. So what does that mean for African-Americans who we are already over police? Joining me now is Angela Benton, founder of Streamlytics. Angela, glad to have you here. So explain this tracing thing. I mean, is, is, is the goal of it to be able to have an understanding of the coronavirus in your area or in your surrounding area? Yeah, so contact tracing basically is a methodology that folks in public health tend to use to track contagion or the spread of a virus. Um, the reason why this is so important right now is because, as you mentioned, Google and Apple, they're teaming up together to use data, location data that is on your phone. The first phase of it will be through an app that they release that's voluntary. But then the second phase, they're actually changing their operating system to enable um, access to your location data and also your health data that might be stored on the phone. All right, so how does it impact us? Does it help us? Does it hurt us? Can police use this for other tracking purposes? Who will be in control of this data? That's a great question. There's no data privacy law at all right now, which is a huge issue. And so when you take into account um, minority audiences who are basically um, affected way more than a lot of other demographics, it's a huge problem. And what comes into play is, you know, historical mishandlings of tracking or um, I think the word that I'm going to use, I wrote a whole op-ed about this on my blog, but um, essentially the freedom papers. And so while we do want the country to be reopened and we do want to use contact tracing, we want to do it responsibly, and we want to do it with a data privacy law in place. That's a big, big thing, um, particularly for African Americans, because as you just mentioned your story before, you know, New Orleans, who, which is hugely impacted, um, folks like Google and Apple will potentially give access to your data to other government officials and will be able to track who you've been in contact with, who you've been around. Mm. Okay. Um, what? So, is this actually happening? Are they proposing it? And who gets to control it? Local, state, federal, or can they do whatever they want to do? Well, right now, tech companies are pretty much doing whatever they want to do already with your data, and they are giving an API basically to local government officials. So the people who will have access to your data is everyone but you, basically. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Well, that certainly uh, is quite interesting. I mean, we, we, look, I understand folks want to focus on safety, want to focus on the health, but we still have to factor in how data can be used against us for whatever purposes. And then the key is who own, who controls the data, who owns the data. And yeah, and we know all these tech companies have run into problems with the federal government when it comes to privacy issues. Right. So the privacy issues are, are huge. And there, have, there was actually a law, a bill that was introduced on March 13th. The issue is we really don't want something to be fast-tracked because of all the chaos that's going on with the pandemic. And so it's very important for, number one, communities of color to even understand that there's no federal data privacy law at all right now. But you can use your, you know, your voice, let people that you know sign a petition. You can go to gotmydata.com. Um, I have a petition there. This is something that I'm personally doing outside of, you know, my company, Streamlytics, just because this is hugely important 
um, to communities of color, and nobody's talking about it. So, you know, it's something that we don't need to overlook. I'm writing a letter to Congress, the Federal Trade Commission, who will likely oversee a lot of this, and we're, we're letting them know specific things need to be included in any data privacy laws that are expedited. Gotcha. All right, then. Uh, I certainly appreciate it. Angela Benton, founder of Streamlytics. Thank you so very much. Hey, fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications.